Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 5th, 2019. Well, big surprise, big surprise, we have another big gap this morning. The good news is this gap is going to at least follow through with yesterday's gap to the upside. So what happened to create this? Well, during during the night, we get um, news that China is going to come back to the table with us for what they're calling ministerial um, negotiations on um, trade. That will not occur until October, early in October, with what they call the deputy level negotiations not expected to begin until mid-september so i gotta i gotta ask this question how does the conversation that we will get back together a month from now warrant a 250 point gap up in the market it seems to me that the market is just this all or nothing very emotional uh market and <clears throat> we're, we're, we're bouncing around on pure emotion. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of logic to this. To me, it's kind of like, think about um, the month ahead that we have to wait while all this uncertainty continues to swirl around. It's going to be a little bit like um, tiptoeing through a minefield where one misstep, something blows up in our face. So for me, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that we're gapping up 250 points. At the same time, I'm very relieved that we are seeing some movement between the U.S. and China and the, and the negotiations. So I'm, I'm caught in this kind of a very weird place here, and, I'm, and I really want to... Um, encourage everyone to be really careful here um, chasing into this gap up open that doesn't seem to be warranted at the moment we have no details we have nothing that they're going to come uh, but they're going to come back in together and talk um, and a month away um, all the different things that could occur during that period of time. Now, having said that, let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. Not trying to predict anything, not trying to truly, truly not trying to understand this because I don't. But let's take a look at um, what the technicals are saying. If we take a look right here, we're gapping up this morning substantially and we're gapping right up into this price resistance level on the diamonds. Now that happens to be just above the 50 day moving average average so could that trigger um, what they call a short squeeze I think the answer to that is yes it is possible it could trigger a short squeeze any of those traders caught short in here may be forced to cover depending on how we react after the open let's um, keep in mind also that we have a lot of data ahead of us this morning uh, we have a lot of economic data and our biggest day of earnings this week is today so a lot of data yet to come out this morning this could change dramatically whether being um, up or down um, as we head into the open so be careful how you approach this market today now yesterday we had another one of those days and i'm going to go to a short-term chart here um here let's use this chart let's go to a, a short-term chart where essentially what we've done is we've we've had a gap up and basically go nowhere gap up and and kind of drift down sideways gap down pretty much drift around um, a, a little bit upward gap up and basically go nowhere all day yesterday so this morning we're looking at this n another very big gap up and keeping in mind that we really don't know anything about what this news means other than we're going to come to come together and talk and we also face um, the employment situation number on Friday. So 
could we gap up this morning and then just go nowhere again? I think that is a possibility. Could we see those bulls grab a hold and really push a short squeeze here today? I think that is also a possibility. Could we see the possibility that we gap up and sell off the rest of the day in a pop and drop pattern? I think that is also within the realm of possibility. So it's kind of a confusing place to try and decide what to do here. And all the high emotion in the market is making it very, very difficult to trade. It's, it's almost impossible to be able to trust anything overnight. So a lot of intraday trading will likely go on. Who knows what will actually uh, transpire today. So kind of keep those things in mind as we try to navigate this minefield of these big daily swinging gaps and um, completely news driven emotional market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also gapping substantially higher this morning, gapping well above its 50 day moving average and gapping right into a price resistance level of the chart. Again, question is, will we be able to hold? Will this trigger a short squeeze? Will this be a pop and drop? Uh, those are the questions that you're going to have to answer yourself today. Could we pop and go nowhere? Um, oh, boy, what does a person do when every day is a gap of 250 plus points? Um, pretty crazy price action and very, very difficult to trade. Let's take a look at the Qs. Q is also gapping above its 50-day moving average this morning, gapping right into this price resistance of the chart. So we'll need to keep an eye on that. Can we hold above that 50 day? Will we fail that 50 day? Hey, um, only time will tell. Um, just be really careful not to get caught up in the emotion of the day and chase into this until we see some a price action that gives you some confirmation of that move. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also gapping up this morning, but there's nothing bullish here at all about the IWM chart. We're gapping up into price resistance. We're still below our 200 day moving average. Our 50 day moving average is dropping, uh, possibly even um, heading for a new crossover. You can see a 34 exponential has already crossed back over the 200 day, um, kind of leading us down. So we've got a lot of work here in IWM. There's nothing bullish here in that IWM chart, at least yet. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX will likely continue this move. Whoops. There we go. The VIX will likely continue this move lower this morning on this news with this big gap up. Question will become, will we push on down and bounce um, off of this level of price support? Or will those uh, or will the fear really drop out of the market and drop us back down below this um, 16 handle here in um, in this chart where we have a relatively strong level of price support. So that's our question for today. How will this play out? This downtrend could still serve as a price support if we move on through down into here. But is it possible we move down in here and see sellers come back into the market um, after this big gap up and raising that fear back up, continuing to build out this um, really odd pattern here in um, the VIX? So a lot of emotion spilling out here this morning. Who knows what's going to happen? Anything I think is possible, uh, considering how much data is going to come out this morning. Let's take a look at um, uh, T2122, which is that four week new high, new low ratio. Now yesterday, that big gap up and move, we gapped right up in this bearish reversal zone. Um, obviously we still had more room to move up and we're gonna move up sharply this morning. But what this also means is that we have gapped directly into the reversal zone this morning. So we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that just because we've gapped up there, we never necessarily have to collapse and fall. What we can do and what we have done before is we've bounced around in this area up here where we'll pull back and bounce right back up and that kind of thing. And we've even seen these periods in here where we hang out up in this area. 
But what I would suggest is that we're going to have to be really, really careful how we approach this gap up open this morning, thinking that we have completely reversed um, very, very fast. And um, we could see profit taking or uh, even that pop and drop pattern as a possibility today. So watch that carefully this morning and just uh, just plan carefully how you um, how you choose to uh, to approach this market today. Anything I think is possible, and and I think the market has been showing this, showing us that with daily gap uh, gaps and uh, big gaps and even daily um, reversals that can be really punishing for those who have been chasing um, either long or short into this market. Let's take a look at. Um, <clears throat> Our economic calendar today, big economic calendar today with a lot of data coming out this morning. First off, um, here relatively soon, we're going to hear from the ADP. ADP is expecting jobs numbers to stay, consensus anyway, expecting job numbers to stay uh, uh, relatively strong. Um, so unless that comes out as a surprise, um, we should be in pretty good shape there. Jobless claims are also expecting kind of a flat um, situation over last week, so that could help us out as well, um, keeping spirits high. And then we have uh, productivity and costs, numbers at 830. PMI services at 945, factory orders at 10, ISM non-manufacturing at 10, the natural gas report and the petroleum status report on the same day. So lots of data here coming out this morning that has that potential of moving us around, particularly if we catch a surprise in any of that information. So um, seems kind of unlikely that we should be gapping up so huge ahead of all of this news. And then keep in mind, um, we have Fed balance sheet, and I don't expect that to move the market around at all. And then tomorrow morning, it's really pretty typical that the market just kind of uh, coasts and waits um, ahead of an employment situation number. So it's possible we could gap up this morning and really just go nowhere the rest of the day as we wait for this employment situation number and the Powell speech. Um, midday tomorrow so um, wow what what do you do with this and how do you approach the market um, I, I honestly don't know with all of these gaps there's not much here you can trust in my opinion so be really really careful on how we move forward on the earnings calendar today we have um, over 40 companies reporting earnings those numbers are coming out already this morning and the market is likely to react um, significantly to a few of those. Um, Lulu is expected to report today. It looks like it is gapping up this morning. Must have reported um, already relatively well. Um, ZM reporting today. Um, not seeing any, any action in that just yet. Um, CIEN is also um, reporting today. Looks like it is getting a really nice response to an earnings report. Sienna moving up strongly here this morning after that. So there's quite a few um, of those reports coming out this morning that could move the market around still um, as we head toward that market open. So anything is still very possible. And, and remember, we're only one news story from doing something in reverse. Um, it's just uh, whip Whipping, whipping all over the place. So be really, really careful. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in trading, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, if you happen to be watching the video over there, make sure to click that bell icon on YouTube with that pop-up comes up so that you'll be notified when I post one of these videos. And, and by the way, I post one of these videos every market morning. So you might want to keep an eye on that. 
Um, and there's lots of free education um, on the YouTube channel. And I try to avoid all of the hype and drama that you might see in other places and just lay out the technicals of the chart and um, the things that we have to watch and try and navigate around how you might want to approach the market for the day. If you feel that these are useful to you, if you feel like this was a good enough video to warrant a thumbs up, please do that. Click that thumbs up and leave a brief comment. That that helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks, helps us grow this channel, uh, push this information to more people and hopefully help more folks and I got to tell you after uh, 15 years of trading full-time it's this morning market preparation that has helped me stay level uh, minded in my trading and uh, prevented me from getting um, overly emotional and, and all hyped up on the drama of the day and the, the events around the day and just look and focus at the price action of the chart what should I be looking for it's helped me a ton it's kept me straight and it's allowed me to trade for a living full time for the last 15 years so please if you find that helpful feel free to share this with any other friends and family that you might think could benefit from this information now having said all of that let's take a look at some charts that could be um, showing signs some good charts um, showing signs of positiveness or negativeness that we could be um, watching for potential trades. Let's take a look at a chart like MTCH. MTCH looking very, very good. And you can see, I've been mentioning this for a while, holding in this trend, looking good. Now this morning, it looks like it's going to gap up on this news this morning, gapping up, breaking through my alert area here. And this is a very, very typical price pattern. If you watch any of my videos or how I trade, I trade basically two patterns in the market, and it's no joke. Um, I trade very, very simple. I don't use any indicators, as you can see here, to make these trade decisions. Uh, for me, my trade patterns, I, I, I must have a chart that's trending. I look for a stock that moves up. I look for the pullback opportunity. That's that little pullback that holds in a trend and looking for those next entries into those positions. Always watching for that pullback opportunity. And the next price pattern that I look for in that rally up is that consolidating move over toward the trend. 99% of all of my trades consist in those two patterns. And that has I have been able to build a, a career um, doing that kind of simple trading. And as you can see, MTCH has really been kind of setting that up. We gap up on an earnings, bounce around in here, slide on over here in that consolidation toward that earnings report. And now we're looking for that pop out from there. So MTCH is one to keep an eye on. Um, really nice patterns and a beautiful trend. Clearly the market, um, this has not reacted to the overall uh, craziness in the market and held up very, very well. So one to have on your list. Uh, TTWO is another one of those charts. This is that little pullback opportunity. And notice how this has just responded to these same patterns all the way up in this trend for a long time. And this pullback opportunity happened right in here. We popped back up through, had a little bit of consolidation after breaking through uh, that up here. But now we kind of look like uh, we're ready to maybe continue this trend higher. So watch that in TTWO. By the way, I want to mention everyone that every chart that I show in these videos is meant for a watch list. It's meant for training. It's meant for uh, something for you to uh, to focus on. Maybe there is a trade there eventually after you do your evaluation. But I want to remind everyone that none of the charts that I show in here is a recommendation to buy or sell um, any security. Okay. Let's take a look at... Um, um, Home Depot here. Home Depot could be setting up that p pullback opportunity trade. You can see we've had um, a pretty steep move up here after breaking through this resistance. So we broke through that resistance. There's that little pullback opportunity. This was the last opportunity to enter that trade. And now we've moved up sharply and we're pulling back. We've kind of filled this little gap. We would want to be watching this level right in here to see if buyers can step up in 
into this area. And even though that this is a very, very good pattern, it also may be uh, require just a little bit more time and rest um, after such a big move. This could bounce around in here for a few days before this has that opportunity to move on up and we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Home Depot still looking pretty good um, overall. Uh, charts that may um, be struggling here just a little bit and could still set up short. Now this started to have that full short setup here where we might fall into this gap but yesterday rally back and now this morning could even move higher here. So let's keep an eye on this. This could be a failure to uh, to move lower. We'll have to watch it pretty closely uh, in that chart and see if it, it actually does move on down. Um, keep a pretty close eye on that. Big moves have been happening in some of the defensive sector stocks. Um, STZ, STZ, beautiful chart. Mentioned this yesterday, um, followed on through um, and moved on up. We'll wanna watch this price level resistance um, up in here as we move up into that. But you can see these pullback opportunities that I talk about where we move up, pull back, hold trend. There's our rally pull back, hold trend, there's our rally. So watching this in here, any rest or consolidation, whether that be a pullback opportunity or that consolidating move over to trend, we'll wanna be watching that for that next potential move higher. And we're seeing that in a lot of these defensive sector type stocks. Uh, Coca-Cola also continuing in this pattern get those really nice little pullbacks to hold trend or consolidations over to trend and then on higher we go so these defensive sectors are looking really really uh, strong and and i think it might be just the uncertainty of this market is driving some of this folks are looking for a little bit of of safety um, in some of these stocks. So keep an eye on some of these defensive sectors. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. Thank you very much for being here. If you're struggling as a trader, if this market just doesn't make any sense to you at all, you know what? We don't have to trade every day to be successful. As a matter of fact, some of the best days in trading are the days that you stand aside and protect your capital. Remember, that is a big part of our job as traders. So if you're not feeling the move, if you're not, if this isn't making sense to you, a lot like it's not making sense to me, it's okay to stand aside and wait. Wait for that next entry. Don't get caught up in the emotion, chase into here, and cost yourself a big chunk of capital. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care now.